Hello everybody, it is Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to do finally my completed pages from November 2021. I believe, I believe I did 21. No, 20. So not as many. Two PDFs from Ava Brown, which I'll show you first, and then we'll go through books. So the first one I did from Ava Brown was this one from Gnome for the Holidays. This is these are actually trees, but I've done them as snow covered. Um it's just plain markers, just just a quick colour, uh, very nice, enjoyed it, bit of fun, loved doing it. I do love the Ava Brown. Yeah, so that's that one. And then the second one I did was from uh, Ava Brown's Christmas Patterns and I did this one of the little teddy bear with the sand hat sitting on the ball, uh, the ball walls. And this was just done with um, alcohol markers and the Pentel Dual High Metallics. Those ones, Printed dual, Meca dual Metallics, or the Sparkle Pops as they're called in the States. I really like those pens. Again, nice easy one for Maeve Brown. I enjoyed that one. That one took a bit longer because of uh, the amount of gold on there. Now, last month I had my first month of doing Colouropoly with Chronic Sarah from Chronic Colouring Down Under. I had three rolls of the dice and I got a book with a word in it, a book with food in it, and a chibi. So I did one from the Love Colouring Book by Jade Summer. This is also one of my books I've never coloured in before, so it's one off my hoard. So that's another colour, my hoard 2021. And I did the first page. I have started another page in here, uh, but I was doing a metallic background with paint and I just never, I didn't have the chance to finish it before uh, at the end of the month, so I went and did this one, which was a lot quicker. Again, I've used the, um, the background is the pastel ohuhu markers. I love those backgrounds and other things, but I really like them. And then just a couple of other markers, both ohuhu are red and the fluorescent pink. And the rest of it was done with glitter gel pens, various ones, a bit of um, random ones in there and some of my uh, link shines. So that was that one. I'll just pop them down here for a minute. Um, so yes, Delicious Food, Jade Summer. So another one I hadn't coloured in. In fact, all three from Colouropoly were ones I had not coloured in. So they're all from Colour Mahore 2021. Um, and this one was from Delicious Food by Jade Summer. Again, okay. it makes life so much easier when you've got so many books. Okay. And I did the popcorn picture because I love popcorn and I love movies. And it was really fun. And it was just done using uh, the Ohuhu markers, the pastel Ohuhu markers and the Arteza Everblends. It was that simple, just those. Um, the tickets are slightly grey, the popcorn's sort of creamy yellow. I decided to go for an orange drink rather than a Coke, because I thought that might be a bit easier. But yeah, I really enjoyed that, and I really enjoyed doing the Colouropoly. It was good fun, and I'm doing it again this month. So, yeah. Uh, the third one was a Chibi Girl. So I did one from April Amber's Chibi Unicorn, because I thought at least that gets one out of the... that I haven't coloured in. And I did this one, I did her, her bedroom all pink and he's sort of lilac and she's wearing sort of like a turquoise. And again, it was Ohuhu markers, both the pastel and the normal ones and some Arteza Everblends as well. So a big mixture of all sorts of pens in that one. But I've re I must say I really enjoyed doing uh, Colouropoly with Sarah at Chronic Colouring Down Under. I am doing it again this month and I'm really enjoying it. I haven't started but I'm going to start them very, very soon. Belle Pipistrelle Coloring Book by Carla Magania. Yes, I have got this one as well. And I've done one in here. And I did this one. Again, done with various markers. I think that's Ohuhu looking at it. So that was done with the Ohuhu markers. There is a little bit of gel pen on there but not much there is on her eyes and her cheeks and her lips but i didn't do too much on this one and a bit on the graves but i really enjoyed it it was nice nice to do something a bit different different color face different color graves so it's not all your normal colors i like that book the easy coloring book jade summer christmas so this is one of the new ones i haven't got a tag in it but i have still got my thing in it 
Um, I just did this, didn't do a background, just did this with various metallic gel pens. These were the Lidl's gel pens, I think. Yeah, Lidl's metallics. And uh, some glitter for the bow and but the bows. The rest of it is just the metallics. Didn't take long and it was fun to do. Then we've got The Cute Christmas by Jade Summer. Got loads of patterns next. I think that's all the proper pictures. They're all uh, the colour by numbers or patterns next. Uh, we've got Cute Christmas, like I said, by Jade, the Jade Summer book. This one's um, Alexandra Francais. The first one I think was Josh Dunbar, I believe. Yeah. So I actually have done two in this one, but I don't know if I've marked both of them with a, a tab. No. So this was the first one I did. Again, I did a background using the Oh Who Who pastels. And then I've just used the, probably the Oh Who Who markers and various glitter gel pens on the rest of it. So, I mean, I don't go mad on them. I just have fun. And I've just got another one. I'll be doing more in this this month, I hope. These are nice and simple. And I did the Christmas Mermaid and a little fish. I thought he looked a bit like flounder, so again, oh hoo hoo pastel markers, oh hoo hoo markers, and uh, a gel pen on the stars and her belt here. But again, a nice, simple, easy ones to do. They're not gonna, you know, I've, I had a pretty month where I didn't do a lot of colouring. I was doing other stuff. I wasn't feeling it, but I still wanted to colour. So I just picked easy ones and patterns for the month. So it will change. I did start some more difficult ones. Uh, hopefully you might see those at the end of this month. Uh, on to the patterns. I think pretty much all patterns now. Oh no, there is one more picture. Uh, and that is, the uh, first one is Colour by Number Mandalas by Jade Summer. I do like these books. This was done with the Oh Hoo Hoo water brush markers that I bought. I really like them. That's why I bought them. I bought them specifically for patterns and specifically for the um, colour by number books because they're very they're easy to do and these books I'm, I really do enjoy doing they're nice they're simple I'm always going to colour in them and then we've got colour by number flowers again Jade Summer again this is done with the Oh Hoo Hoo water based markers they don't take long to do these I love them I haven't quite finished doing the swatch for the Jade Summer um, colours. I've done it for Sachin Satch Deva, finished his, and I haven't finished Prachi Satch Deva's, uh, Prachi Dewan Satch Deva's, I'm working on hers at the moment. But there's that one. Talking of Sachin Satch Deva, I did three in Christmas Mandalas colour by number. I love this. This is one I think it came out last year and I think it's just gorgeous. I love it. It's so easy to do. Like I haven't done it this year. I don't always do these straight away, but what I think I'll probably do is do those when I finish the entire book and then it'll be the last thing I do will be that and this little bit of penguin here. And I do these in order. So I did the Christmas trees. Now this would have been done with you who 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 alcohol markers to start with. As you can see, yeah, it's gone through. And same with this one and the next one. I think they were all oh hoo hoo alcohols. I haven't used the water based ones on them yet, I don't think. Uh, is that water based? Yeah, that's the water that's the water based ones. But when I did it, did this this one here, I didn't put my swap my um, blotter page there, I put it under this one, so there are some marks on that, but still, I really enjoyed doing them, and the Oh Hoo Hoo water-based markers are really good just for these. Go back to the Jade Summer ones, we've got beautiful patterns. This is one I really do like doing, and it's all yellow and purple and a little bit of green, and I like it. Um, I think these are books I'm quite likely to finish at some point. Maybe um, if there's a 10 to complete in 2022, I might put all my colour by numbers on it just because they're the ones I can do and some of my patterns like rose windows. Though I haven't actually coloured in that for a while. So I might have to do that soon. But yeah, that's really nice. I like that. That's so nice. Uh, colour by number Christmas, again, by Jade Summer. I did this one with the gloves. I got some of the colours wrong. This was done with 
the alcohol markers, the Ohuhu alcohol markers. Uh, some of the colours are the wrong way around, like the berries on the mistletoe and the gloves are the wrong way around. But it doesn't make any difference. It looks fine. You can do what you want. I like to keep it to what they say pretty much, as close as I can. But, oh, I love this book. I love colour by numbers when it's like this and patterns. And of course the, there's another one uh, in here that I really love. I just love colour by numbers, let's, let's be honest. Okay, and then we've got Jade Summer. I did a lot of Jade Summer. It's my Support Jade Summer month. Uh, Intricate Mandala's colouring book. Okay, Jade Summer. Again, this is one I do love to do. And this was done with various... Not this one, though. It's This was done with various... Um, uh, pastel markers in, including the stationary island ones um, which I bought it for they are water based they don't really go through but I did put a blot of page in just to be on the safe side so as you can see it's all very um, nice lighter colours apart from the rings which I did in black just to make it pop out a bit I like to do that I do like doing these books though Right, the next one is another Carla Magania book, which is Retro Deco. This was a buddy colour with the lovely Chelsea Jade Murray. We do like to do them. And we did this one. I was going for an 80s vibe with the, because um, the collar looks very 80s, or the, the angles are very 80s, very metallic. This was, um, again, Ohuhu markers. Um, the Ohuhu pastels for the green here and this here and then it was the uh, Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallics on this bit and her makeup I just love her I think she looks great I like this book yes back to colour by numbers again Thatch and Thatch Deva this is 50 diamond mandalas again this is the sort of thing I like the pattern ones the mandala books Again, this would have been done with the uh, Ohuhu markers, which is fine. Um, I will be, like I said, using the Ohuhu water base from now on. But that was uh, the last one I was that I did. I enjoyed that one. I do like this. Some of them are the wrong way around, but it doesn't matter. I do like this style of book. And this is one I can see me just colouring in, like when I'm not in the mood to colour major big pictures, like I haven't been. Two more to go. Stained Glass Egyptian Designs. This is my favourite, 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 favourite book by Fashion Sashiva because, because it's Egypt. And we all know I am mad on Egypt and I will be colouring this book again this month, even though it's Christmas. I can't wait to do another one in here. And I did the scarab. This is the scarab. Unfortunately, I tested my page with pencil on, on there instead of on the thing. <coughs> again, this is a hoo hoo markers. It might have been a bit of. Um, Our teaser ever blend as well because I've been sort of mixing and matching but yeah I love this because I love the fact that it is a beast a scarab I love anything to do with ancient Egypt I've got tons of books on this books on the subject um it's one of those things I'm drawn to much like Hollywood uh old Hollywood ancient Egypt's another thing I absolutely adore um just always have loved it love the history love the the artifacts I would love to go there one day maybe we never know so that's that one. And the last one I did, it works actually the very first one I did in the month. And it's another Carla Magania. This was Hot Tropics Tiki Pinup Colouring Book. And again, this was a colour buddy colour with Chelsea Jade Murray. Oh hoo hoo markers and glitter gel pens. I do believe it's the Pentel Sparkle Pops looking at them. But it's oh I love them. I love these books. I'm gonna have to do them again. Oh, and I've got some um Sakura Glaze, Jelly Roll Glaze uh, Red on there. I've only got two, I've got the red and the black, but I will be getting some more uh, in the new year after Christmas because obviously uh, Christmas is a very expensive time. That's everything I actually coloured in November. Like I said, I didn't colour as much this month. I'm happy with what I did do though. I had a great month. I enjoyed it. These ones only took, I did these in one sitting. All three of these were so easy to do. I, I know I'm going to enjoy doing more of them. I've got one of the other books that I haven't coloured in yet. Um, so I might try and hit that this month as well. But I am prioritising Christmas because it's Christmas and I want to colour in uh, as many of my colouring books I haven't coloured in as well as a few that I have. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, which is my favourite picture? 
I am going to say it's the popcorn this month from the delicious food because it made me want to eat popcorn and watch movies. But that's just me. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And I will be filming a current chat and we'll be continuing with Elvis in the horror book in the next one, hopefully within the next day or so. So I'll see you very, very soon. Love you guys. Bye.